What is going on everybody? My name is Raging Fury 505 and today bringing to the channel a new series. So now every Monday we're going to do a brand new tutorial for gaming montages and edits. Uh, I've looked around YouTube, there's not a lot of gaming edit videos or editing tutorials for montages. So uh, we're going to go look, we're going to try and I'll try and show you some tutorials basically. And today we'll be doing transitions, some really basic stuff, and yeah. So number one, we're going to do a really nice, I don't know what to call it, I just made it myself. But basically what you're going to want to do is take a clip, right? And we need, we need one more clip here. We'll take one more clip. And let's say you want to go from killing her to killing her, or clip to clip basically. So you can see me getting a real gun there here. Pretty nice a real gun there on Freak Show. I'm gonna wanna cut it. Don't wanna have too much excess footage. Uh, gonna cut it here. Now we've got a killing air, right? Now we're gonna wanna move our footage here. And you wanna keep a little bit of excess footage. So right here, we want to add a little bit of excess footage. You'll realize why we need excess footage. So right here, you got blah, blah, blah. So right here, I die, right? So I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut a little bit of my nair right here. Around the same dirtation, maybe up to here, right? We're gonna cut it. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make it really fast. We're gonna go right click, go to, uh, not audio gain, uh, speed and dirtation. Go to around 800%. It depends on what clip you're using, but usually I like to use around 800%. And you wanna click frame blending. Boom, and now you wanna go here. Speed and dirtation, 800 frame blending. And okay, now we're kind of lagging because like I'm freaking recording and I'm and I'm uh, editing on Adobe Premiere, so it is lagging a little bit. We don't want too many frames, so we're gonna render it real quick and see how it looks. Usually you want around 20 frames and right now we're at 100. So uh, we're gonna make it a little bit shorter. Man, I really underestimated how much we need to fast forward it. So go here, speed and dirtation. We're gonna make it 2400%. Rotation 2400%. Move it over here. Okay, it's at 35 frames, which is still quite a lot, which is around half a second. So uh, you usually just want to play around with it, and you need to get a good feel of what you want. Usually, I write I like around from 12 frames to like 30 frames. It just depends on what peak of the song you're at and um, the tempo of your song. So we'll look at it here. And usually you want a song behind it. So let's say we want to put a, let's uh, put a non-copyrighted song because I don't want to get copyrighted. Uh, here's a good song. Put it in here. And usually you want to put it so there's no audio. So go to audio gain and you can click shift and click both. Go here, go to audio gain, go to like negative 50 so you can't hear it. And 
and if you want you can always make it a little bit quicker um, if we go to here speed and rotation we can always make it a little bit faster maybe 3600 now move it to, okay move move render you wish you should always render your frames honestly to make sure how it really looks and right now I am screen recording so it is taking forever to render right now so uh, just bear with me man one frame is taking like half a second it should take like 0.1 seconds to render one frame okay so we'll go here oh my god dude when I'm screen recording it lags so much okay we're gonna go back here and now you have a little bit of a quicker transition which looks a little bit nicer usually I like a quicker transition and of course it's not looking good right now it's not looking great because I am uh, screen recording so my computer can't um, play it back correctly unfortunately and yeah Okay, number two, we're gonna do one more transition today before we end it. I'm already recording for quite a while. But uh, number two, when you have, let's say you have a clip, you have a killing error or whatever, but if you remember each kill, you have like a five second rotation to get each multi-kill. So like from triple to over, you have up to five seconds to go from triple to overkill. So if you take like 4.9 seconds, it's gonna have a long period of you not doing anything really. So usually you need some kind of transition. Now, you can always use the frame blending transition, make it really quick, make the 4.9 seconds really quick. So here, let's find one in here. Getting some kills. Yeah, here. Here I have a long period where I'm not getting any kills, all right? So I would usually cut it like right here and cut it and make a really nice transition. I'll do it real quick to give one more example. But uh, we go here and now we got me killing everyone, right? So we'll cut it here. We'll make it really fast. Uh, 1600. Okay, 10 frames, pretty good. Now we'll go back and boom. Now you have a really nice quick transition. And of course you can always go simple and I feel like people always overlook it. You can always go really simple and you know, go to effects, go to cross dissolve and put in a cross dissolve, man. I mean, it's not bad to put in a cross dissolve. It's really simple and it gets your job done. Um, honestly, I just like to put a variety, mix it up. Don't put too much of one transition. But for a cross dissolve, it is a little bit long. So you wanna make it a little bit shorter, maybe around 0.6 seconds. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, subscribe for more content, and until next time, I will see you guys next time. Peace out.